Good evening, bookies. My name is Hannah, and today we're being floor people. So today we are going to discuss my 2018 goals, just in general. They're not exactly used. Most of them are reading goals and book goals, but also I'm going to kind of add in a few things that I would like to change this year to hopefully make my year a little better. The goals that I have for myself this year, it could range from like, I want to be more creative, I want to be smarter with money, I, I want to be like just generally happier. So we're going to discuss all of those and let's go. So in one of my previous videos, I mentioned that my goal for my the number of books I want to read in 2018 is 15, which now that I'm coming out of my slump and I'm reading a little bit more, I really was not very happy with that. I thought maybe I can manage a bit more, maybe hopefully like give the numbers a little higher. So I am deciding to move up my challenge to 30 books this year. If I do more, fantastic. If I do less, then that'll be a little disappointing but hopefully I'll at least reach 30. That is the goal this year. I want to try to start reading an hour at night, and if not more, I want to start reading like, you know, an hour a day. And you know, once I start reading, once I get in the zone, then I just continue reading, and that's usually how that happens. So hopefully I can read a little bit more than an hour a night, and then hopefully I'll read my, reach my goal a little faster. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this, Emma Reads is doing a readathon for the City of Bones series, the Mortal Instruments, the Infernal Devices, and the Dark Artifice series. And if you want to join in, then I'm going to link her channel, the video, down in the description below because I'm going to start reading the City of Bones series again because I've been planning to reread them for a very long time. I was just kind of waiting for a sign, and it's like I suddenly saw her video and she was like, I'm rereading the series. She's going to read them throughout the year. So like this month obviously is City of Bones. She's got a schedule for it all in the description of her video. So if you want to reread the series with her, I'm going to be doing it and I thought it'd be fun if I kind of tried to get everybody to do it, just, you know, to, to support her and be fun. So I'm going to link her video. You guys can go check that out because I want to do it. I'm going to do it and I think everybody should if they want to reread that series. That's the first series I'm going to start with in 2018. So that, I just wanted to sneak that in very quickly because I forgot to mention that and I'm super excited to start that and it's like my chance has come. I'm going to finally read the City of Bones series and understand what's going on and remember what had happened. So another thing that I want to get a little better at this year is being more creative. Um, I kind of do a lot, a big variety of things to do just like as hobbies. Like, I write and I draw and I kind of color, kind of, you know, as the, the adult coloring book kind of person. But uh, recently I've noticed that I haven't done very much of any of those things. So hopefully this year I can start getting a little better at that. I've made another goal that I will do at least one of those things a day, whether it be drawing and let it be known I'm not the best drawer, but that's the thing I'm proud of. But I want to at least draw something a day, write at least 500 words a day, or color at least a page a day from one of my many, 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 many coloring books. I feel like that should be easy enough and I'm kind of excited because slowly I know if I do that a day with at least one of those things. I'm gonna get better at it, be it drawing or writing or coloring. I'm gonna get a little better at it by the end of the year. The next thing I want to discuss is money, which no one likes to talk about, but I'm just gonna mention it very briefly in this video. I want to go on a trip to Europe, at least this year or next year. By the end of this year or the beginning of next year, I want to go on a trip. And so I have to start being a little smarter with money, and that means spending a little less money on the books that I buy. I buy a lot of books and then I don't read those books and then that's just money wasted so I'm gonna try to be a little bit better at that and when I go to the bookstore I'm gonna buy a book that I'm definitely absolutely going to read. So I've made it a little bit of a rule from now on that for every book I buy I have to 
have read a book like so it's a book for a book that way I don't buy a book and be like oh you like it's kind of like a it's a ratio thing so if I read five books and then go to the bookstore I can be like well I read five books maybe I can pick up five books but that probably won't happen not the five book things but say I finish the book I'm reading right now and I go to the bookstore like tomorrow or tonight then I can pick up one book and that's it. I can only pick up one. That way I kind of keep the ratio even and I'm not overbearing myself with a ton of TBR books like I already have. So the next thing I would like to discuss is me being a little bit more organized this year. So I have a book tubing journal that I keep track of everything on booktube and when I'm going to do that and when I'm going to record and edit and everything and it's not organized at all. It's actually not very cute. So I want to be a little bit more organized with my book tubing and the editing and stuff like that just so I am not like panicking when Friday comes along and I'm always like, did I even record anything for this day? So I want to be a little better with that. I would also like to just be a little more organized with my life. Like I have a, what is it, dry erase? whiteboard that I write like my bills on and I write birthdays on and I write you know the days I'm supposed to record and the days I'm supposed to edit so that kind of is a jumble of mis mi mix match things that kind of confuse me sometimes and it's it's very messy so I, I want to hopefully get a bullet journal and be a little more organized with most of that and the final thing I want to discuss that is my 2018 goal is I want to be a little bit happier. I want to be like mentally happier. I want to not be so like so much of a downer because I'm kind of depressing when I'm around other people. I feel like I'm kind of boring and so I want to be happier. I want to be happier for people. I want to be happier for myself and I want to do things that make me happy. Um, I also want to start like dressing the way that I like even if I was like nervous about it in 2017. I want to be the kind of person that's like, I'm going to buy that because it will look good on me and I don't care what other people think. That's the kind of person I want to be in 2018. And one of them is like, I want to buy a swimming suit and not wear a shirt over it and not wear pants. I like, I want to wear a swimming suit in all its glory and not be nervous about what other people are thinking. So I think hopefully that'll make me a little happier and a little more confident in myself. Also, I want to start telling more people that I actually book too because as far as I know, only six people know I actually do this. Six people, only six people know that I actually book too. Six people from my family. That's it. Because I, I go around and I'm like, Amelia will be like, oh yeah, Hannah, Hannah book tubes. Amelia calls herself my personal advertiser. She will go around and tell every single one of my family members that she can find. And whenever she does that, I always get like, oh, super embarrassed. I don't want her to tell people. I don't want people to be finding these videos and being like, Hannah, you're so freaking weird. No. So I'm going to stop worrying about that now. And if my family actually finds these videos, then hello, family. Welcome to 2018, Hannah, where you're going to just start telling everybody that you like to do this. So yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Rock on. Hey guys, I'm Emma at Pet Cat Books, and today me and my sister, who you are going to meet in just a few seconds, we are doing the siblings tag, so she is sitting behind the camera.